See that it just stands still. See, if you make the camera stand super still, literally throw it on a tripod, get a good photo, and you can make anything perfect. And we'll just go ahead and delete everything so we can show you guys how to do this effect from scratch. And as you can see, we did a, like a, a ton of it throughout the music video, but we literally just changed up like the hue and uh, maybe just a little bit of the positioning of the fire to really get a different look. We also went into Lumetri and kind of gave it a little bit different of a color, kind of get it closer to the vibe we're going for. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, with these fire effects, uh, I ended up just YouTubing free fire effects, and I found a couple options down below. I'll leave the option that I ended up using in the description. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and add this uh, wide ground fire. All we did was pop open and hit R for the rotation. Hit S for scale, bring down the size a little bit, make it wedge in right there. Gotta make sure that's the start of our clip. And then I think we grab the large fire and did something similar. But we actually wanted this to cover most of our frame, give it a little bit more life, have those embers kicking up. And then this was just another ground fire, but what we did was we ended up rotating it to kind of fit on this here tree. We just dragged this back over here so we would have everything all lined up. And then from here we just added an adjustment layer. Oh, I've got to get on the right frame. Adjustment layer. And then we came over here to transform. Well, error. Okay. Hit the two keyframes. Come towards the end of the clip. Make sure they end right there. And then we're gonna just kind of zoom in here. Just a basic zoom in, making it a whole lot more dynamic, you know? Then, towards the end, we gave it a little bit of, um, like, more shake to look like, you know, like an earthquake, just building the hype on the clip. We used that with sapphire plugins, uh, shake, and then bring that down to zero, about halfway, bring it up towards the end of the clip. And I would do about 0.5. I don't think one is too necessary. Alright, quick tip. If you were smart, you grabbed a bunch of this scene right here. Like I did a tons of times in the music video. And I literally just copied and pasted it. And then just slightly moved things around or made it a little bigger to just make it look like things have progressed or changed a little bit. And that way you don't have to out was super easy. All right, the next thing we're going to be talking about is this text here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and basically delete everything and new layer text letter I. Make it real. Oops. I hit Alt and the bracket. Basically, we're going to make this super easy for us. Go over here to Bad, and use a Bad Distortion Twitch preset that comes with which. Literally, just copy and paste that, snip that over a bit, type in... Don't. And... Kind of just play with this a bit design it as we do. Copy and paste again. Christmas. 
and it's literally that simple. You know, you don't have to be too on point with the whole situation. And I pretty much just added the fire, added that, maybe messed around with some wave warp and kind of played with like, you know, some transitions that I like. And overall, this became one of my favorite music videos that we've done so far. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up this one for us. We just wanted to get you a quick breakdown on this 13DG music video that we did. Definitely one of my favorites with the fire effects and the typography. Not much else went into it, just some good transitions and some flow with the uh, wave warp. Uh, if you guys want any more tutorials, any more breakdowns, let me know what you guys are looking for. And we'll make sure to get that to you guys. You guys have a good one. Peace.